Welcome back everybody, it's Troy D. Welcome back friends and family. We're here with another video. We're gonna talk about a designer perfume. Ah, designer on my channel. Mm -hmm. We're gonna talk about a well talked about des designer perfume. Um, since we are about on point reviews, I'm gonna make it as on point as possible before you guys uh, try to purchase it, um, depending from where you guys hear about it. But today we're gonna talk about Moschino. Moschino Boy Toy. Hello. <laughs> nice. It's got this nice uh, bare bottle right here. And uh, this is uh, Eau de Parfum. 30 mils is enough for me um, because I've got a wide range. But I'll talk about the size later should you get the bigger deal. Uh, but this was relatively inexpensive. Super inexpensive, in fact, that, uh, you know, it's it's a... Uh, it's, uh, okay risk for me to purchase now uh, you see the bottle is very much Kino because uh, they're all about the bears if you guys remember uh, Jeremy Scott he's the designer of much Kino and all his stuff are like bear uh, related uh, he had uh, an Adidas collaboration where he had bears uh, on the sneakers on the Adidas sneakers. I'm talking about bears at the like you know that the end of the the the, the the toes of the sneakers and uh he's a he's a pretty cray cray you know kind of loud um designer and moschino is really all about like clubbing that kind of deal that kind of lifestyle so it, it's really cool to see the bear back again here and it's black so it's funny you know moschino has a lot of colorful like neon schemes and then you know their perfume is black really cool all right cool bottle now this is uh, talked about as a very unique fragrance and as for the uniqueness, I would say it's very unique. Um, Joy Amin is a recent brother of mine. I, he just subscribed to my channel and if you're listening here, what's up Joy? And uh, he said that when he uh, smelled this, he, he uh, immediately knew that there was a fragrance that, that, that he had or maybe he had smelled before that smells like it. Funny that I felt the same way when I smelled uh, Toy Boy right here, um, and, and 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 Joy could not uh, remember, you know, where when what kind of uh, perfume it was, and uh, he said that it was because you know he had been reviewing so many perfumes. For me, I think he doesn't remember it because I believe that this is an old perfume, really. Like I really think that this is a perfume that I have smelled during my super younger years maybe back in the 80s or uh maybe early 90s but um it's very vintagey so if you if you're like a, a i guess an older frag head um you might have the same reaction as me maybe same as joy that immediately upon smelling uh toy boy you're gonna be like what this is something i have smelled before but since this is uh made 2019 of course next generation peeps um they're not gonna notice that but as a person that has smelled fragrances for years um i smell something really familiar here uh in toy boy okay so what makes it really unique is that it is to me an androgynous scent gender neutral immediately upon smelling this i faced my wife and i was like you want to wear this you want to use this since she has a moschino backpack she's got moschino bags and i was like you know, you want to wear this because this is not like a man scent. It's very andro androgynous. And like I said, it's because of that nature of Moschino. Look into the designer, you know, look into Jeremy Scott. Um, you know, Moschino really reminds me of Japan, actually, Tokyo. You know, when I was younger, I used to party there a lot. I used to like hang out in Tokyo. And uh, Tokyo is one of those places in the world where you can wear whatever you want. You're not going to get judged at all. They're, they're going to love you. Actually, the crazier the outfit is, the better. So I just remember those days where like I was wearing like a super oversized hoodie, which was like totally new to the scene, the fashion scene. And like people really loved it. Or when I was, you know, wearing the MCM bags, um, people were going crazy about it in Tokyo. Well, because Moschino is kind of like that. And so... Uh, to me, it's very like androgynous. I believe that um, this thing right here, uh, just because it's boy, nah, y you can even give this to your girlfriend. And I think that she's going to like it. She's going to wear it. 
Okay, very androgynous. So, so far, vint vintage just because of my memory, but unique androgynous. So what makes it unique? What makes it unique is that it is a blend that has a pair in it, as in pairs, you know? And the, the pair note is the most dominant note out of all the notes. But I can guarantee you this, that if you didn't check the note breakdown, you wouldn't know what it is. You're just gonna say, wow, unique. The pair note is the most uh, dominant uh, one here. And it is accompanied by rose, but not uh, not the rose that you see in the niche, which is more natural smelling. It's just like a slight uh, rose scent that makes it somewhat darker. It has LME resin. Uh, it's got pink pepper for that little slight high. Um, and uh, but but mostly it is a pear note that uh, that that dominates uh this toy boy perfume um it is a uh, slightly uh dark slightly dark so in a sense it feels like it's a clubbing scent or it's like a night out scent um i'm trying to really grasp my head around is it something i would wear in the daytime and it, my my brain association keeps saying no it's not it's not for the daytime. It's definitely a nighttime scent. Um, and so I, I believe it's like a, a very uh, clubbing uh, nighttime scent, this, uh, this, this toy boy right here. Um, it has other, it has like woods. It has a cashmere uh, on the base. But just like many designers, it's really hard to break it down. But what I can say is it's, it's sort of like a clubby, androgynous, pear scent with a little bit of florals that make it like smell vintagey a little bit now would i buy this well in terms of like just showing the bottle off i think that's really nice i mean this bottle is really like cute um it's a great um conversation piece i believe if you have people over and they see your collection i think that this is the 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 bear will definitely grab the attention really quickly i would wear this if uh i'm kind of uh liberal you know liberal minded you know uh this is absolutely not for the gents <laughs> okay no it's not for the gents okay the vetiver guys the zaharoff guys the Gerland guys it's no this is not for the Gerlan guys not for the vetiver guys um not at all this is very very like unisex can be femme androgynous and absolutely if you're the type of person that goes to nightlife guy or girl goes to nightlife um a lot uh this is great the only issue i have is uh I think the projection is not so strong or maybe it's just like a creeping type of scent but um, based on my sprayer here um, I would say you've got to spray it a lot okay that's that's what I pick up on this um, I don't know if it's I'm just used to niche but um, to me it, it smells weak if I just do my standard uh, three sprays or four sprays I feel like with this you have to really uh, spray it on your clothes, shoulders, um, just so you have the maximum effect from uh, Toy Boy. Uh, people are saying it's a beast. I don't smell that at all. I mean, and, and trust me, guys, I'm more on point because I have real beasts. I'm talking about beasts that really conquer rooms, okay? Um, for designers, uh, it's rarely, you know, because of the formulation, you can rarely say it's a beast and it's probably going to last you like three hours. Um, I'm wearing it right now and I'm ex I'm kind of feeling that it's almost gone right now, you know, and uh, it's only been, what, a couple hours. Um, I just, it's not really there anymore. So um, definitely, if you like this, if you try it, I would say apply it a little bit more than usual because it might just dissipate. But definitely, it's a clubbing scent. It's a nightlife scent. It's a party liberal scent. If you are you love crazy nights, crazy nights out. I mean, you got to grab this. This is probably the anti-gent, if you know what I mean. 
And uh, for the price, come on, thirty, forty, fifty dollars. It's so cheap. It's so like easy to get. Um, so if your personality matches this, yeah, definitely try it out. Um, it's a unique uh, thing in a collection, and uh, will definitely match your personality if you're as loud as like Jeremy Scott. You know, always look into the brands because you know these things represent the brand. So this one rep represents Moschino. So Look at Moschino first, you know, and, and see if that's your deal. You know, and if it is, then yeah, get this, okay? But yeah, cheap, unique, um, slight performance issues, but uh, unique and uh, cool bottle. So, I mean, I would definitely love to have this in my collection just for kicks. Um, and I will probably split this with my wife, <laughs> okay? So that's my review of Toy Boy, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to please subscribe. And not only that, watch all our videos. We've got some amazing fragrance videos, some unique top tens, um, and a bunch of other stuff, okay? So until then, guys, enjoy your day. This is Troy D. Peace out. God bless.